I have this meter. I've, I've had it for a long time, but I've I didn't open the case. And so, although I purchased it three or four years ago, I believe, I have no real memory of it. I found the case a couple of, well, four weeks ago. It's a big meter. Uh, and I was impressed with the construction, uh, the fact that it has ceramic fuses made in China, but the provisions to hold the probe, I don't use it, but I could mount it on the wall in front of me, you know, on my desk, on my shelf. And it has a stand that will allow it to stand up like this. I wanted to buy another meter. I don't know why. Amazon had a meter. I have no idea what this meter is. I, I mean, it's called an Astro AI. There are a couple of different Astro multimeters, handheld VOMs. This one appears to be the large model. The small model is, I think, $20. This was $35. They also have a clamp-on ammeter. And they may have more than that. It's available on eBay as well as Amazon. sort of get a feel for how big this thing is. My hands are not overly large, but bigger than some. So they say, Chinese now, that it's an auto-ranging true RMS uh, 6,000 count. I believe these are PVC coated leads, and uh, this is a screw on. No, it's a pull apart rubber. It's a little bit rubbery, and just plain probe. The shroud's handy, I guess safety plugs, um, some sort of thermocouple. Now this thermocouple that plugs into the voltage jacks, common in voltage. This probably does the same thing, but it has a transistor measure that I don't have not ever used, but the features there. So now it's a two wire, two two conductor jack. Transistors are normally three wires. These two openings are made for um, commercial thermocouples that come between three feet and three hundred feet long. They have little. Um, not facing each other, but flat, parallel, uh, rectangular plugs. Now this is a big meter. It's got a plastic sheet protector on there. Those are comfortable size numbers and there's probably a backlit function. It's not very even because it's lit from one side with two LEDs. Facing it, it looks good. Flat wise to the camera, it's get some light, some glare from the overhead lights. I'm not interested in functions. There's other videos. The back has a magnet for hanging off the inside of a 
or the door of a uh, electrical cabinet. That would be handy. It's they provided it a place to store it, which is nice. If you don't like this, you can remove it. <laughs> I picked up trash from my bed. From my bench. Come on, get off of there. That's one of the dangers of having magnets. They have their good points and they have their bad points. There is no, that I can see, place to open this up. But it has a stand. And so the stand is not really adequate for pushing the buttons. The only reason I'm opening the stand is to gain access to the compartment. But I think first thing I'll do is remove the uh, outer. Well, I don't know about that. Can I just remove the outer cover? Well, that's not bad. Uh, this has a wrap around rubber or plasticized, but it's a real bear to get off. This one came off fairly nice. I, I, I wonder if it'll stay on as well. These don't feel like machine screws. They feel like self-tapping screws. And that's what they are. I find that to be a decided negative. Um, self-tapping screws on the battery compartments not good. Oh, well, the... <laughs> The battery is secured with a magnet. That's interesting. The fuses are not identified as to which fuse is which. That's not good. So the only way we can identify the fuses by reading them. So the meter is held together with four screws. And these are also self-tapping screws. Oh, that's really nice. The fuses come off, the unmarked fuses come off with the case. I'm li not liking this meter as much as I did. Now that the case is off, we can see that this is a 600 milliamp fuse and this is a 10 amp fuse. Now this is an interesting concept. The jacks are the typical ones you find on a $35 meter. The case is all tongue and grooved, which is good for exploding meters. And I imagine you get a little bit of benefit from this. I'm not sure I would be comfortable using this at 480 volts.
six little teeny tiny self-tapping screws. Two of the little tiny screws merely hold on the bezel for the switch and that's if you ever go to tear this meter apart these two screws should not have been removed that is to say I would not remove them if I didn't have to tear the switch apart damn so these fall out I'm going to put these screws back in before I go any further. At the back, at the front of the meter, there are, from what I can see, no components mounted here at all. The wiring here is for the backlight. So what do we have? We've got a current shunt, a couple of resistors. Are these PTCs or perhaps? Wait, bend them a little bit here. It says these are PTCs. Four diodes. Some resistors, a buzzer, and a 4 megahertz crystal. Looks like these things go in like this. Conductive rubber buttons. I'm not going to take them out that match these conductive pads. I guess they might anticipate using this case for some sort of optical communication device. So this was a removable piece here. And the case is held together with two little snappy things at the top here. See, there's no snap at the bottom because that will be where the screws go. I don't like self-tapping screws for this, but it's hard to find a meter without self-tapping screws to hold the case together. This meter has machine screws for the battery compartment, although this meter requires taking off the wraparound shell and opening the case up to replace the fuse. Now with tapping screws, we want to turn them backwards. We hear them fall into the pre-cut uh, thread. I'm 
not really going to go through this. Uh, to sum it up, I would pay $10 more to get machine inserts and machine screws. And it would really be nice to get a spare fuse holder. The reason I'm not really going to do anything is that I'm proceeding to do uh, a VOM calibration series. That is not calibration. There's nothing to adjust in here. I'm sure we couldn't find out how to uh, change the adjustment. It would have to be digitally. I like the external fuses, semi-external. And I could live with just two machine screw inserts. I would like to have a finger. I hate to use my fingernails to lift this. The numbers are fairly large. The back light is not real uniform. Doesn't it's not as so offensive looking at it directly. It's not good when in the camera because of the lighting. And I guess we should try to put this back on. It does have a front and a back. There it is, $35.